Hello, Ana Yance. Hello, Dallas. Hello. Good evening. How are you today? I am fine, thank you. Okay. Good evening, Dallas. How are you today? Very well, Miss. Yes. Okay. You're very happy. Hello, happy. Karina. Yes, are you happy? Yeah. Okay, very good. So we are about to start the class tonight, but I yes. see that some classmates are not here yet. Maybe uh, because it's raining. I don't know if it's raining where you live. Yes. yes. Right now. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I could imagine uh, that. No. Some people say that it's going to be rainy during the whole week. So, who knows? No. Okay, so maybe tonight we are going to have internet connection problems, electricity problems. But, well, I hope not to have those problems here. Okay. All right. So, did you complete the platform? Are you working on that? Uh, now, the next class. Okay, very good. Okay. What about you, Karina? You finished, right? Yes. I okay. And Ayansi finished, too. Yes. Okay, very good. So, well, we are about to start. And remember, it's really important to be online during the whole week. Es sumamente importante que estemos conectándonos toda la semana, ¿verdad? Como ya les explicaba ayer, por ser la última semana, eh, vamos a estar viendo, aparte de ver temas así, digamos, importantes, cosas nuevas, posiblemente para unos. Entonces, eh, también eh, se puede dar algún tipo de información o algo relevante, por lo que les pido, ¿verdad? Que no, no falten a clase. Yo sé que ustedes no faltan, y si faltan, pues es porque realmente les surgió algo en el trabajo de último momento, o de lo contrario, pues tendrían que notificar en el grupo. Y hasta esta hora no he recibido ninguna notificación, ningún permiso de nadie, ¿verdad? Pero bueno, algo debe suceder. Ok, o se nos incorporan después. Pero sí, eh, thank you for being here on time. Gracias por su puntualidad. So we are about to start right now with you. So we have an agency. Hi. We have um, Danis. Yes. Listen. Listen. Let me see who else we have here. Carmen Lisset. We, uh, we have Karina. We have Lourdes. Alfonso. And who else? Cesar Ediberto. Okay, very good. So tonight we are going to have the number 17 class. Are you ready yes. to start? Yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah. So can you see my, my screen? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's fair. Can you tell me what is the topic for tonight? How do you use tool? Okay. Uh, let me tell you something. Put, uh, you write it cool, okay? But the pronunciation cool. is put as should. Mm -hmm. Do you remember should? We don't pronounce the letter L. The same happens with put. They could, okay? Cool. Could. Yes, good. And do you remember something about good or any idea? Mm. Is present past? The Is the past or past? Mm. Okay. The past of can. It's Very a model good. verb. It's a model. Okay. Yes, it's a model verb, and in some cases, this can work as in the past tense of. The model verb can, right? The, the ability verb can in the past tense. But tonight we are going to check the this put as a model verb to ask 
for permissions in your workplaces, okay? okay? So, as I was mentioning, today is the class number 17. We only have, a, what, three classes more and we finish. Please don't miss classes on Friday. No me vayan a faltar el viernes ni ninguno de los próximos días porque el viernes vamos a elaborar la encuesta y la vamos a hacer durante la clase. Así es que si les llega la notificación que la encuesta ya está disponible, pues abstengámonos y esperemos hasta el día viernes que la vamos a realizar juntos. ¿Okay? Sumerado, gracias. <laughs> ok, uh, let's see. Yes, all right. So we have here recalling previous knowledge about the last class. What do you remember from the previous class, guys? What do you remember? We use the should and shouldn't for recommendation. Okay, for recommendations. Okay, can you yes. give examples? Uh, you will you should wear uniform in your office. Okay, very good. You should wear uniform in your office. Very good. Thank you. Another example. You shouldn't smoke. Okay, perfect. Yes. Another one. I should smoke. <laughs> I should smoke. Don't even. No, no, no. Okay, I know. All right, I know that example, and I answer. Yes, I know it's an example. Otherwise, you're get, going to get fired, right? If you are smoking in your workplace. Yeah. Okay, and I answer. Hello. Can you tell me an example about should or shouldn't? Um, I. I should no, no I can shoot uh, it pupusas today. Okay, I shouldn't. I shouldn't eat pupusas today. Today. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, tell me, what are the policies that you have in your workplace, guys? We were talking about this. Yesterday, do you remember the policies in your workplace? Yes. Pupusas. Pupusas. Yes. Are the policies. <laughs> okay. Eat pupusas with the team every day. No, every day no. Okay. You should wear a formal clothes. Oh, okay. The dress code. Okay, very good. Another policies, guys, that you have in your workplace besides the dressing code? Mm, yes. Or the summer, the supervisor of workplace. Well, what about the schedule? The schedule. The time. The time. Mm -hmm. Or seven mirror. Okay. Well, what is what is the sentence? What is the sentence for talking about the schedule in your workplace using should and shouldn't? You should arrive on time. Exactly. You should arrive on time. Very good. Always early. Last time. No, no, ahí no podemos salir con aquello que dice en español. Es que lo bueno tarda en llegar, teacher. ¿Verdad? Gracias, gracias, mi gracias. Okay. Ahí no se puede. Okay. Very good. Tell me, do you have any question about should and shouldn't that it's not clear for you? No, miss. No? In my case, no. No? Okay. No. So we can continue, right? Let's see. We have this conversation. This conversation is in your books. 
if you have the books, you can take them out or you can you can see at the screen. So I want you to pay attention to the pronunciation of some phrases here and especially to pay attention to the modal verb put. Okay. So I'm going to start. This conversation is uh, between no among three people. Three people, okay. We have um, Hank, Julie, yes. and Betty. Okay. So I'm going to start. Pay attention, please. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Do you know what means HR? What are these letters stand for? Uh, Excuse me. Recursos humanos. Uh -huh. Human resources. Human resources. Okay. Yes, human resources department. Human resources department. Okay. I'm going to read it one more time, but tell me, can you hear me clearly? Okay, very good. So um, I'm going to repeat, just pay attention because after this you practice in groups. Okay, good morning ladies. How are you doing today? Hello Hank, I am okay, but Betty is not. Really, what's wrong Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. Yes, he is right. You could go to human resources department and request a form. Would I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Can you identify what is the problem here in this conversation? The mother uh, of Betty is sick. sick. Sick, the mother or the sister? The mother and her sister can go can see go. her. Ah, okay. So who is going to ask for the permission? Who is going to ask for the permission? Julie or Betty? Betty. Betty, okay. And where she has to go? She has to go to Human Resource Department to request a form. permission. Okay, and that happens to you when you have to miss your work or you only say to your boss, hey boss, I'm, I'm not going today to work because I have a situation and I can make it or do you have to fill in a form? My case, I just talk with my boss. Okay, okay, yes. that is easy. That is easy. Okay, very good. Imagine, imagine, I, I remember that in the one one last job that I had in the past, they used to ask, they used to ask to fill in the request form. You have to request a form to fill in in the past, one job that I had. So in the job that I have right now, they don't ask for filling in a form. Maybe that depends on the companies, right? That depends on the institutions. Perhaps Karina only talks to her boss and she says, um, I can make it today. But maybe Anna Yancy, she has to write or to ask for a permission on paper. Okay. 
in my yeah. case, we have a, a website and the website we put a, a permission and, and the boss asks it or Online. not asks oh. it. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, very good, uh -huh. very good. So that's a good, a, a good thing to do that. All right, so number one, we practice the conversation. Number two, we are going to discuss these two questions. What is the problem with Betty? And um, if you know someone who had a similar situation in your workplace, or maybe you can have that situation too in the past, you are going to share with your classmates. After that, you are going to talk about the video. Did you watch the video? Um, so, so. So, so. Okay. So at least you have an idea about the video. Idea. You have an idea. Uh, we are going to be discussing about the video, these questions, and I'm going to let you, uh, maybe if you want, you can have a screenshot. In that way, you have an idea on what the questions will be. Yes? If you want. Yes. If not, no problem. And you only talk to your couple there in the group. All right. Tell me when you're ready. Ready? Ready. Okay. Let me see. Please. I'm going to sh let's see. Yes, I'm going to send it to the breakup rooms now. Uh, Está dos veces usted, verdad, Yuli? Ah, yes. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Now we switch. I'm stuck. Good okay. morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Ham. I'm okay, but Ben, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister. Hola, teacher. Hello. Estoy sola. <laughs> okay, let me see. I'm going to send. I'm going to send, this is room three. Luis, Luis has joined. Okay, Luis. Okay. okay. Esperemos que venga Luis. Está bien porque este, Fidel nunca se conecta. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
este modo fantasma está siempre. Okay. Okay. So, Luis is here. Luis is here. Ah, okay. No, Hola, Luis. I'm sorry. Hello. Lo no, estaba here. esperando como agua de mayo. <laughs> <risa> Muy bien, ¿y usted? <risa> Aquí en el aire porque estoy entrando ahorita a la clase. Ah, vaya, no importa. Yo lo, yo aquí le voy a decir, estamos practicando la, la conversación de la página 41. Ok. Jack Chu. Hank y, y Julie. Mm. Hank y Julie. And and the... Ah, ok, ok, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Vale, si quiere. Si quiere. Y Hans. Hans. Y yo, Betty. Betty. Y yo, uh, Julie. Okay. okay. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hans. I am okay. But Betty is not. Really? What's wrong? What, what's great, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that you could ask for permission. He is right. Human records requirement and request of all. Ah, could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. What is the pronunciation correct, Miss? Yes. Absolutely. 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 Okay, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Well, this is Betty. Betty. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing to, today? Hello, Hans. I am okay, but Betty is not. Uh, really? What's grown Betty? Well, my mother is sick. And my sister can go, can go see you tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that you call us for permission. He is right. You could go to HR or, como dijo? Human Recurs. Human Resources. Ah, resources. Resources. Oh, okay. Human resources. Human resources department and recue a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Ahora con las preguntas. What is the problem why very? Very. ¿Cuál es el problema? The video. Yes. You watch the video. Hello, teacher. Hello. We watch the video. Uh -huh. Did you watch the video, guys? Yes. In this, this moment. <laughs> Did you have the screenshot for the questions to discuss? We finished this, uh, this activity, teacher. In the video? No. Uh, we no, we will moment. gonna watch. Oh, okay. Watch the video, please. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat>
Yo estoy entrando. Ay, también. de verdad, yo sí, el agua está complicado, el internet ha estado teniendo problemas, porque no, está lloviendo fuerte. Yo acá toda la tarde no he tenido energía, si hasta ahorita me va, voy encendiendo la compu, el, tele, el teléfono lo tengo sin carga. No, Cargándolo. Estoy, ahorita lo he puesto Ay, a cargar. No, pero gracias a Dios que ya llegó. Good evening, teacher. Bienvenido, Edwin. Entonces, me tocó buscar. Trouble. Ya. Me, uh, I had uh, the email, the first email, the platform with for uh, code, uh, password for enter in the class. Ah, yeah. okay. But uh -huh. you are here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ¿En qué estamos? Para ponerme al... Hello. Uh -huh. Okay. Where are you? ¿Sí? What, what, what activity are you working on? Sí, en, la, en el libro, no, en, in the past, number 41, 41. Eh, the conversation. Ah, ok. La estamos practicando. Ya. Y luego, este, haremos la actividad número 3, que vamos a contestar las preguntas de la conversación. Ah, eh, si gusta, Luis, este, si gusta, Edwin, eh, ¿Sí? practicamos ¿Sí? nuevamente la conversación. Con Luis ya habíamos hecho una práctica, pero podemos volver a hacer práctica para que, Va. para okay. que todos practiquemos juntos. <risa> Vaya, ok. Eh, Les comparto <risa> pantalla. Chivo. Ay, Excelente. Vaya, por favor. Excelente. Ok. Uh, you start. Yes. I start. Hoy si no va a salir bien la conversación porque es de tres. <laughs> okay. Hi. <laughs> I'm Julie. I am Betty. Uh, I, I hand. ¿Les parece? Yo soy Han. Bye, está bien. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Hoy entro yo. Como yes. Well, my mother is sick. And my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry. To hear that, you could ask for permission? He's right. You call, go to HR department and request a form. Ay, sigo yo. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> call, I, <laughs> call, I mentioned the reason for the permissions. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Pero okay. yo creo Hoy que ahí cambiamos. se equivocaron. Ya creo que seguía. Permission, the reason. Okay, mm. practicamos otra vez. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, uh, en este turno. Seré Julie. Si quiere, practiquemos una. Betty. En su carro. En el carro está. Si quiere, practiquemos un, una, una, cada uno para que. No sé qué dicen ustedes. Ajá, hoy yo voy a ser Betty. Ah, va, que... está bien. Luis haga de Han o de Julie. Va, está bien. Voy yo como Han entonces. Va. Ok. Let's okay. start. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing now? How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick. And my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You call us for permission. He's right, you call. Go to 
each year department and rescues a form. Call I mentioned the reason for the permissions. Yes, absolutely. Again. Okay, Ahora, the pronunciation oh. is absolutely. 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 And this one is human resource. Human, human resources resource. department. Okay. Or you can say okay. in a contracted way is HR. HR. Okay. HR. HR. Okay, very good. Yes. Continue Thank working you. on the questions, please. And after that, we are going to work with the video. Okay. Again. Questions. Hey. Hi, Miss. Watching the video. <laughs> you mute. We're talking about the video that it's on the manual, but it's not that one, it's another one. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> or is that one? Um yes. But okay. the, the sound is no not working. Mm, no is no no. Listen. Mm -hmm. You don't listen. Okay. Yes, I can see you don't listen. Well, in that case, uh, I guess that, that is not the video. That is not the video. As far as I no. remember, it's another one. It's another video. Oh. Can you please check the, the, the student's book? And over there, you'll find the, the topic that is, um, let me see. Can you please, uh, yeah, stop sharing. Okay, thank you. I'm going to share with you. It's this one, look. Uh -huh. People requesting for permission. That is a yes. topic, that is the topic of the video. Yeah. Is that the video? Yes. Okay, so um, let's see. If you are ready, because all of you watch the video, can you please uh, have a screenshot or do you have the screenshot already for the questions? Yes. Okay, so right now, when you finish watching the video, uh, you talk uh, about that. Yeah. And after you get ready, because the teacher can ask Anayansi, Anayansi tell me the, the answer for number one, or Claudia, give me the answer for number four. Okay? You get ready. Mm. All right? Yeah. So let's continue working. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Bye, I'm going what is the understanding to give you? Where is Carmen? The word is? Where is I, Carmen? Uh -huh. I don't know where is oh, Carmen. Uh, maybe the connection is bad because uh, she say uh, that she, she has a problem with the connection. Yes, it's because it's raining, you know. Yes. Here it began raining since five o'clock in the afternoon. So it's 8.35 and it hasn't stopped finish, uh, you know, raining. Yes, yes. Is the problem, teacher? Okay. Uh, so you discuss about the video, guys? No, not yet, teacher. Okay. So I'm going to give you some more time. Yes, Thank please. You, teacher, I have some problem with the computer, so I I'm watching the video. Okay, don't worry. Yes, I was telling them that we have some internet connection problems right now because it's raining. Yeah. Yes, thank you. 
Don't worry, don't worry. Continue working. Thank you. No. No, you can't. You can't listen to that. It's mute. Sure. It, ah. it's mute. It, it hasn't sound. Hi, Miss. Hello. <laughs> I, I came back. <laughs> see, let's see. Where come is Karin? Ah, Karin. I haven't gone to that group. Uh, a a lot. Karin no he ido por meterme ah. en el grupo de Karin que está en el, en el, en el, el que ya estaba. Ok, you continue welcome, working, welcome. right? Yeah. Ok, continue working. I'm going to come back in a few minutes. More formal. Hello, I'm in blue again. Do you have very blue? Yes. Thank Always you. blue. Let me, let me check this. I this, always this, got this, this problem. X-Men. Somebody was telling yeah. me that I was like an avatar or something. <laughs> Teacher, how you, how can you put a... Uh, Batram, Batram. Uh -huh. Sí, así es verdad. Ah, yes. Uh, you go to the settings, settings, and you select the background option. Select one, and that's it. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's how you, uh, you have some beautiful landscapes there. Mm -hmm. You want I, to have one? I... <laughs> Ah, recently, uh, this weekend, uh, mm -hmm. my family and I paid all the house. Mm -hmm. Painting, painting. Uh -huh. Ah, you say the, the, the background, like yes. a Hawaii. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, like, yeah, like that, you know, landscapes. Mm -hmm. Landscape. Okay, so you were discussing about the video, no? Yes, we're talking about the video. Okay, you had the questions? Yes, I share now. Ah, okay. Nelson, you watch the video? Cesar, watch the video? Uh, I don't watch the video, teacher. Oh, okay. So maybe Pero, you... Ajá. Aquí con Karina nos estamos, bueno, bueno yo me estoy este, introduciendo. Sí. Okay. Ella nos está ayudando mucho. Ok, muy bien. We are going to start in a couple of minutes. Let me see. Yeah, almost time. Five more minutes and we continue. Ok, teacher. Ok. Eh, what do you understand about the video? Eh, the video is about different uh, models per and the use in different situation like uh, for example can you can use for an abilities and permissions Everybody's mute in this group. <laughs> no? Yes, teacher. Uh, in this moment, I watch video. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, we have what four, the question, four minutes. Uh, uh -huh, tell me. What the question is uh, uh, answer? Uh, yeah, I shared, I shared a couple of questions before for you to get an idea on what the teacher is going to ask you. Okay. okay. 
we are going to share the, the answers later when we finish here in the group. So you only need to get ready with the answers because maybe you can be the chosen one. <laughs> okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, I sigo viendo el video. I'm sorry, Claudia. I sent you to a to a <laughs> wrong group. <laughs> okay, sorry. I didn't oh. remember. I didn't remember. Es que me sacó el internet y ni cuenta se dieron. Como no, como no. Ah, sí, vaya pues. Sí, sí, sí. I miss you. Follow, <laughs> follow. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Cuál es el proceso que, que tú sigues? Sí. Uh -huh. eh, Write the, ma the mail, uh, the calling, calling my boss. I am calling. No, I calling, ¿verdad? Calling, calling. Uh -huh. Calling or... Eduardo, are you there? Eduardo? Eduardo Ernesto, are you there? El internet me sacó, teacher. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, Sarai. I guess I that we have internet connection problems because it is raining, so don't worry. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank I you, have teacher. A question. Tell me, Oscar. About the viable. Mm -hmm. For the use. For the use? Yes. Of which one? The viable. The B? Okay. Ah, be able, be able. Yes, be, be able. Be able to. Okay, yes. be able to. Um, that is for abilities. It's similar to the verb, uh, monoverb can, you know, I can play soccer. And on the other side, you have be able to. Be able to expresses uh, things like, for example, more academical, more on another level, you know, 
you can say, I am, a, I am able to finish this course. Okay, that is something more, um, you know, academic for calling it like that, por llamarlo así, ¿verdad? O sea, enfocarse en un propósito, un propósito, una habilidad con un propósito. What is your purpose? Okay, to be able to, es como un objetivo, ¿sí? Be able but to, enfocado a objetivos. I understand the video you uh, use able in past. Ajá. Uh -huh. Was able to, or were able to. Okay. Mm -hmm. It can be in present or in past. The same as can. Can in past is could, right? Okay. Could. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, 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 don't, I don't understand the, the video. No? Right now we are going to discuss the video. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Oscar. Thank you guys for practicing. I was checking the groups and right now we are going to, uh, I'm going to request a couple of people here to role play this conversation. Maybe Karina and Karina and Lourdes. Can you please help me? Okay, teacher. Okay. Go ahead. I'm him. Hang. Okay, oh. I am Julie. Okay. And good morning. Good morning, ladies. How are you? How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick. And my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for a permission? He's right. You could go to Human Resources Department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay, thank you very much. Now I want to listen to Claudia and Sarai. Claudia and Sarai. Okay. Go ahead, please. Good morning, ladies. Ladies, how are you doing today? Where is Claudia? Claudia, you're Julie. I stop. Hello, Han. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry. To her thoughts, you call us for permission? He is right. You go, go to human resource department and request a form. Call, I mentioned, the resort for the permission. Yes, absolutely. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, Anna Yancy, can you help me with the question number one and Dennis with the number two? Okay. Anna Yancy. Anna Yancy. Excuse me, no. <laughs> uh, what is the problem with Barry? Yes. Uh -huh. What is the answer? Okay, your mother is sick. Number two. No, only one, only one. Okay. Thank you, Anna Yancy. Thank okay. you. Her mother is sick. Her mother is sick. Okay. okay. Dennis? Uh, do you know so, someone who has a similar situation? In my case, is uh, 
a one, a once, three, three year, the last three year, uh, my daughter is a uh, fine stomach. Mm -hmm. Stomach. Very, the stomach. And very digestion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you still uh, one one day. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, frequently. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Dennis. Thank you. So, uh, let's see. We were discussing with Oscar at the beginning about the video, right? So the the main idea of the video is about people requesting for permissions. And maybe some of you were facing trouble with the audio of the video, right? But there is one thing that you should know. The video has no audio, only the letters, right? So I hope that you have understood the video. It was like 11 minutes, 11 minutes long. So I consider that some of you couldn't watch it at all but at least you have an idea so let's see the question number one we are going to discuss this and later we are going to talk about what oscar was asking okay so what do you understand about the video guys i, I understand the they They tell us about the use for can, call, and iPad. Yeah, for the present and for the past. Okay. Can, put, and? Able. Able. Okay, thank you. So, guys, in question number two, is it okay to ask a lot of permissions in different contexts? For example, work, school? Is it okay? Yes. Yes. It's okay. Yes. Really? It's okay. It's okay. I justify. <laughs> okay. Mm? Yeah, you justify. Yes. Mm? yes. You justify. But a lot of permission, not. Really? Why, Carmen? No, because it's not easy for the person and for the enterprise, for example. So if somebody is only with absent and absent and absent and absent and permits and permits and permits, it's not rentability for the, the company too. And for a student, if you have a, a lot of absence for School, if you can continue as your uh, other partners. Thank you. Good comparison. So, what happened to those people who have missed the classes? Because, as you can see, there are many classmates here in this classroom right now, but they seem to be here. But when you want to talk to them, no answer, right? No answer. You said, you see, there. Oh, the teacher is online, but the teacher is not there. Only turn, turn off the camera and the audio, but the teacher is not there. Do you think or do you consider <laughs> that it's okay to ask for a permission in order to avoid that situation? I think it's good when you have a emergency or a problem okay but what happens if it is always every day every day it's not correct okay yes it's not correct that, remember Hi. that Hi. that actions actions speak louder than words las acciones hablan más yes. que mil palabras ¿verdad? Yeah. So maybe the people can say, oh, no, I don't need an employee like this. No necesito un empleado que todo el tiempo me esté pidiendo permissions. Okay? Yeah. Yes. So uh, let's see. 
In number three, what is one way you use to request permissions in your workplace? In the workplace. My case. Uh, I need before to explain the situation my boss and then put uh, the permission in the website. Okay, very good. What is the way that you use Lourdes or ask for permission? Um, in my case, I write a message or a, an email explain about situation that I need a request or permission. Okay, very good. Teacher, yes. I don't know, in the, in the video show different ways. If you are an informal way, you can use can, it's a polite, cool, in a formal way made and I very formal. So in my case, I use my or cool too. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, because I consider that in your workplace, Carmen, you speak English, right? Sometimes. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's correct to use may, might, or could. Never can, because can is for friends and for people that you know very well. Okay, so that is good. And the next question is, under what circumstances is it okay to request permission? What circumstances do you consider Emergence. are the best? Emergencies? Uh -huh. Emergencies. For example, what kind of emergencies? Uh, the accident of my, my daughter, my mother. Okay. Um, Illness? Illness, no. For example, you have a stomach or you got the vaccination from COVID and you don't feel well? In my case, no, miss. No? No, no, it's frequently. No. Okay. No. Okay. Another opinion, guys? When your parents or husband or wife uh, are they? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. When the people near you die, yes, that is a yeah. good. Yes. That is a good circumstance, yes. yes. But what happens if the teacher doesn't want to teach the class tonight? Or they watch you play. What happens? Uh. <laughs> because it's raining and the teacher wants to sleep, the teacher <laughs> wants to, you know, be a coach potato. It's okay to do that. Yeah. <laughs> no, right? It's not correct. Because of two reasons. Reason number one, responsibility. Yeah. Reason number two, punctuality. That is the mm. thing. Remember, actions speak louder, louder yeah. than words. Okay? Las acciones ante todo. Okay. Yeah. Eso va a hablar de mí. Uh, let's see. Number, number what? Number five. How often do you ask permission at work? And what are the procedures that you follow? So, uh, in my case, uh, I want three months. Uh, the... Every three months. Each three months. One. One. Oh, yeah. One, two okay. more. One piece. On this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, each three months. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Danis. What about you, Oscar? How often? Oh, in this year, only twice a year. Only twice, okay. Yes, only when, when I uh, went to the hospital. Emergency. Yes. Okay, very good. Very I, good. I, I can't. Yeah, maybe because of your work position, right? 
yes so maybe you are important in your company and that's why you cannot miss them okay. yes the position right okay very good i remember that in the past i had a, a co-worker in another place where i was working and she misses always once in a month you know every once single month. month once in a month todos los meses faltaba una vez and we were like, okay. Y, y, y lo malo es que a veces las personas nos atenemos, por, tenemos un, un par de permisos en el año y no me descuentan. Yeah. Por eso me los voy a agarrar. Okay. Ese es y yo me quedaba como que, yeah. ah, okay. Pero ahí cada quien va. <risa> to each one his own. To each one his own. Okay. So let's see. Oh, Oscar, you, you asked me a good question about... Um, be able to and can, right? Yes. Okay. Oscar me preguntaba la diferencia entre el can y el be able to. I said, can you use it for abilities, physical abilities, most of the time? You say, for example, I can play soccer, I can play volleyball, I can cook, all right? And on the other side, you have be able to. This is more related to cognitive actions. For example, it's focused on objectives, all right? You can say, um, what is a goal that you have? What is an objective that you say is the Or let's see, I want to be able to finish the course. Quiero ser capaz de finalizar este curso, okay? Yes. I want to be able to get good grades. Quiero ser capaz de obtener buenas notas. Okay. Okay. Es algo como más lo que le decía a él. Enfocado a lo cognitivo, a, a los objetivos que yo tengo. Okay. Y es un poquito más profesional. Okay. Se va a usar para cosas ya de otro nivel. No solo para decir, teacher, I can speak English, teacher. Ok. Ok, very good. <laughs> Okay. Pero si usted quiere ir más allá de eso, usted dice, eh, at the end of this course, I will be able to speak fluently English. Al final de este curso, yo voy a ser capaz de hablar de una manera fluida en inglés. Okay. It's a, another level. Yes. So that is the difference. Uh, right now, we are going to check the tonight's topic and it's the use of food. Could is a modal verb, and this modal verb expresses possibility, something that can be possible, okay? So the structure is this, but I guess, um, I don't know if it is only me, but Ms. can Ms. you Bola? please, can you please check if it is should or okay. put in your books, in su libro, como lo tienen? Uh, vamos a ver. Should or could? Sure. Okay. Pero yeah. entonces hay un mistake, all right? Sería yes. could. Could. Ahorita vamos a hablar del could. A should was yesterday. Okay? So for the structure, yeah. we need could if it is positive. Mm. I mean subject, could, there, and the complement. Mm -hmm. And what happens if could is negative? ¿Cuál sería el negativo del could? Couldn't. Couldn't. Very good. So, in this case, remember, talking about permissions, in this case, permissions or something like a possibility. Let's check the example number one. Uh, Lourdes, can you read the example number one, please? Of course. You could, you could request a day off. Okay, thank you. What it sounds like, a que no suena? Mm, maybe a suggestion, una sugerencia. You could request a day off. Tú Permission? podrías, ajá, tú podrías eh, solicitar un día, un día libre. Libre. Okay. It's a recommendation. It's a recommendation, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Suggestion. Number two, please, eh, Oscar, can you help me? Okay. Which I read? 
this one. You could talk. And you could you could talk to your supervisor or the manager. Okay, thank you. And Ayansi, the next one, please. She she could explain her situation. Thank you. Cesar, the next one, Cesar. We call take the company's transportation. Thank you very much. Now let's identify the structure. Vamos a ver si estos ejemplos cumplen con la estructura. Omitiendo el should, ¿verdad? Y agregando el could. Yes. What is the subject in number one? You. 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 Okay. The modal verb. Could. Could. The verb. Request. 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 And the complement? A day, a day of. of. A day of. All right, let's check this one. She. What is the subject? She. 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 The modal verb? Who. Good. Good. And the verb? Explain. Explain. And the complement? Your situation. Your situation. The situation. Okay, so you see it, it has to do with the structure. Always in present. Good is the modal verb and the verb should be in present. All right? Teacher. Yes. Uh -huh, tell me. Sir, uh, if you don't make a question, this is only an affirmative sentence. So uh, you are given a recommendation or suggestion, right? But if you are with a question, you are asking for a permit, right? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Different, okay. Okay. Yes, if you use put in the questions, guys, you are asking uh, for something like a permission. You are asking to have something done for you. Estamos pidiendo que algo se realice para nosotros. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir ahorita. Eh, could you please turn off your microphones? Yes. Yes. ¿Podrían apagar los micrófonos? Yes. Ahí sería como una petición. Y yeah. acá en afirmativo, en, la, en el afirmativo lo estamos viendo como una suggestion, possibility or recommendation. Ok. So, can you please give me some examples eh, in which you use put? Mm. Think about your examples. No se escucha, Ticha, hay una interferencia. You could write. Yes, do me a favor, guys. Can you turn off the mics, please? No se va en serio, apaguemos los micrófonos. Thank you. Ajá. Uh -huh. Solo encendámoslos cuando vayamos a participar. Ok. Teacher, please... I'm sorry, pero creo que también, eh, bueno, también creo que usted puede controlar eso de los micrófonos, creo que usted los puede apagar a todos, de un solo. Ah, ok. Por cualquier cosa. Yes, I know, but mm -hmm. I want you to do me the favor. Ok. Ok, examples. Yes, give me your examples, guys. You could write an affirmative sentence. Okay, thank you. Another one, guys. Teacher. Yes. I'm sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Teacher, uh, they could win the next game? Mm, they could win the next game like this. Yes, it's a possibility. Es una posibilidad. Podrían ganar el próximo juego. Okay, thank you. Oscar, you were about to say something? Uh, you go practice in the weekend? During the weekend? Okay, thank you. Another one, guys.
teacher is just for cool or we can use another model to tonight we only use put for all ah, solo okay. self put uh -huh. ah, okay. um you could, you could listen to, uh, pop music. Listen to pop music. Thank you. You could listen to pop music. Okay. Yes. Somebody else was about to say something. Alguien me va a decir algo? Yes. Uh -huh, tell me. You could listen to heavy music. You could listen to heavy, heavy metal. Okay, you could listen to heavy metal. Thank you. No worries. Yes. yes, you could. A O T. Oh, yeah. She could. She could wear um, warm clothes. Um. Okay. Clothes, uh, it's a general word. Can you please be more specific? Maybe she could wear one sweater, one t-shirt. Yeah. Okay, she could wear, um, but warm uh, is como caliente, teacher, in, in Spanish, warm. Warm, warm uh, sweater? Okay, thank you. She would wear one warm sweater. One okay. is not only warm. Mm, it's okay to say one oh, or okay. to say a. Ah. Okay. Okay, she could wear one or a warm sweater. Okay, because you are that specifying. Case, okay, and in that case, it's advice. Mm, right. Yes, it's an advice. Or it's an a possibility too. Okay. okay, so is this topic sure. clear? Yes, tell me, Cesar. Eh... Bueno, yo tengo una duda. En este caso, por ejemplo, bueno, todos los que los, los, los ejemplos que, que han dicho tienen una estructura, digamos, con el pronombre y el call. Uh -huh. En este caso, por ejemplo, podría sustituir este pronombre, pero ya por como un nombre propio. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, eh, the national team called Qualify for the Qatar World Cup. Okay, the national what team? Team called. Called. No, ah, could. Could. Okay. Could. Qualify. Well, qualify. Qualify. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Qualify. Uh -huh. For the Qatar World Cup. Qatar. 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 Eh, con C. Qatar. Like that. Qatar. Con C. Oh. Qatar World Cup. World Cup, Cup. right? World, World uh, Cup. Ah, uh, correct. Okay, the national team who qualify for the Qatar, Qatar is the world. Never heard that before because I don't know anything about sports. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was, I was thinking about, I guess that it's a, this one. It's an airline. Oh, it's an yeah, airline. Uh -huh. Yes, I was thinking yeah. about that. Okay. Mm. So let's eh, see. Ajá, que creo yes. que una es para inglés y otra es para, para español, creo. Cae en español. Ah, sería con Q, ajá, porque con C creo que es para español. Ajá. O al revés, no sé. Para. Okay, let's leave it like that. I have never heard about that before. And I don't know anything about sports. And I guess that this is related to a sport, right? Okay. Um, you can also use a name, for example, Cesar. Cesar, what? what? What is one recommendation that you can have for Cesar, guys? Cesar, could. Read an English book. Okay. Read an English book. Okay, Cesar could read an English book. Okay. Yes, Cesar, did I answer your question? Cesar? Hello? Is he here? 
O sea, uh -huh. sí, sí se puede usar, ya sea uh -huh. un acá, como usted lo elaboró el ejemplo, está hablando de un equipo, sí se puede utilizar. Un nombre propio un lo nombre puede utilizar. Uh -huh. okay. Se puede, ok. Y acuérdense Perfect. que el could no cambia, no cambia, quedaría could. Hay una regla que uh -huh. para las terceras personas le agregan una S, ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso no aplica. En los modal verbs, doesn't apply. All right. Okay. Any, Thank any you. other question? You're welcome. Any other question, guys? No? No. Okay. So, it's time to practice. It's time to practice. Check. Uh, these are the exercises that we are going to work on right now. There are three exercises. These two exercises, you have them in the book. And in the first one, that is number four, you are going to read the situations and write a sentence expressing possibility with could. After that, we are going to share the answers, okay? For example, you don't have a car. No tienes un carro. What is a possibility or a suggestion that you can make to somebody else? ¿Cuál sería una sugerencia? Si no tienen un carro. Cómprese uno, teacher. No, uh, you could no. buy. Ajá, uh -huh. you could buy. You could buy. A car. A car. Very good. You the could buy a car. car. Okay, un mini cooper. <laughs> okay. <No. laughs> Nada, pide la teacher. No. Okay. <laughs> o un Lamborghini. All right. So, do you understand this activity? Vamos a ir dando ahí este, possibilities and suggestions with could. Not only one, you can have two. For example, you say, you could buy a car or you could rent a car. Okay, those are examples. Don't, don't keep it like only one because the teacher say only one. No, you gotta be, you know, more, more than that. And okay. then when you finish this exercise, you have to create a conversation. You choose one situation. You have one, two, three, four, and five that you are going to invent one and you are going to create a conversation. That conversation have has to have the, the put, the use of put, okay? Here you have the instructions. Choose one of the situations in exercise four and create a conversation. A student A has the situation and a student B provides the possibility and then you change roles, okay? You switch. And this is another exercise for practice that we have. Maybe you can you can have a screenshot. In this case, you have to put the, the words in order. In this exercise, you will find uh, sentences in affirmative with put, negative, and questions, okay? But this is just for practice, all right? So I don't know if you have any questions so far. No? No questions? No questions? No. In the case of the, of the question, can you give us the structure? To, yes. Can you school In this case, there? yes. You, let, me, let me share it here. In this case, when yes. you have a question, when you have a question, because here in the exercise is only one question, yes, no. The structure is, You need put subject there in complement. This is for yes, no questions. Yes, no. Put subject per complement. But if you have a WH question, you need uh, the WH, remember the WH can be what, when, how, why, and mm -hmm. which, and you continue, right? You need that plus 
put plus subject plus there plus complement. Okay. Okay. That is okay. the structure. That is the structure for the questions. Did you have the screenshot for the exercise? Yes. Oh. Uh, yes. Number. No, you can have it right now. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Ready? Number oh. one. Huh? Uh, ah, number one, the exercise. Yes. yes. Uh huh. Ah, this is in the book. Mm -hmm. in the book. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So we are going to, to work in the groups. If you have somebody in the group that doesn't speak, that doesn't show up his face or her face, tell me and I will, I'm going to change you of group. Not talking. Cesar. I don't know what happened with Cesar. But he was talking. Estaba hablando, no? No, creo que se quedó free, freeze, en freeze. Uh -huh. Okay, let's Cesar? wait. Let's wait a little bit. Uh -huh. I have problem. I'm sorry, I have problem connection. Okay. Pero poco, creo que me escuchan, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yes. Ah, ok. Solo tengo que polarizar la pantalla, pero sí los escucho. Ok. Ah. Ya. Ya, ya, ya se corrigió, creo que sí. Es que al principio cuando dentro de las salas de, se, como que se me queda congelado, pero ya después pues, normal. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. um, bueno. Ok, we no. start. Mm, uh -huh. Ajá, de número 4. Number uh, number 4 is read the situation and write sentence ten, sentence expressing possibility with cool and share the sentence with your classmates. Mm -hmm. okay. The number 1 is you don't have a car. Don't have a car. Um, it's possible uh, you could save money to buy ones. The cold. You could Hello, guys. Hi, Miss. You are only two. You are only two people. Yes. And Sarah is not here. No. No, right. Okay. And you call lend a car. Lend a car. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or you the public transport, así es. ¿Cómo? Casi no le, no le. El transporte público. Ajá. Public transportation. Public transportation. I, I could use it. Public transportation. I call. Use. 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 Yes. 
Public, public transportation. transportation. Yeah. I could walk. Ahorrar. Uh -huh. Ya voy a poner mejor. Ah, pues save quizás es, pero ahorrar. Porque dice que earn es ganar. Ahorrar. Ganar. Ajá. Ah, save. pues sí, es save. Ajá. Entonces pongamos. You could. You, you could. could eh, save. Money. Save. A lot of money. Ah, no, or much money. You, you a lot, of lot of lot of, ah, lot of money. Lot of money. Ah, okay. Thank you. A lot of money. And second, you buy and you could. You could. Mm -hmm, buy. You buy a car. Car. Uh -huh. Con la Solo son dos, ¿verdad? Por lo Bye. menos, ¿sabes de qué somos dos? <ríe> Number <¿Sabes> two. <ríe> Your family is sick. Why, teacher? Ah. No, number two. <ríe> no, no. <ríe> number two. <ríe> no había leído. <ríe> oh, one. oh, your family is sick. Ah. Um, you could you could uh, call a doctor you could call a doctor call a doctor you could go to the alcaldia or uh -huh. you could City Hall, Alcaldía, City Hall. City Hall. City Hall. City Hall. 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 City Hall. Hall. City Hall. 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 Uh, what the difference is go and go to. Uh, go for, go. for example, uh -huh. uh, go, go home, uh, go to the park. What the difference? Okay. Do you remember the imperatives? Imperatives. Uh -huh. The imperatives are like orders, right? Direct yeah. orders, ordenes directas. You say go home, Edwin. Go home, take uh -huh. a casa. Okay, you don't have the subject. You don't have the subject at the beginning of the sentence. No tenemos el sujeto al, or al inicio de la oración. And for example, uh -huh. if I say, eh, Edwin, let's go to the park. That is different because it's like an invitation and I am telling you the place where I want to go. Let's go to the park. It's like an invitation, okay? okay? Invitation and order. Okay. Okay, teacher, thanks. Okay. Uh -huh. And second, to answer the case. What's a little dog? Como una, como una solicitud, teacher. Como pidiéndole algo. Yes, request. Mm -hmm. Solicitud. Uh -huh. request. You need to request a legal document. Necesita pedir un documento legal. Okay, you could go city. to the city hall. City hall. And second, dos de cada una, verdad, teacher? Yes, maybe, maybe two. Um, you could. Otro documento. Type of document. You could go to. 
Teacher, perdón, pero se me olvidan a veces los, los verbos. Uh -huh. Hacer, ¿cuál es el verbo hacer? Hacer, hacer qué? Ajá. Eh, hacer. Está do y está make. Make es como algo. You could may, may. Uh, online cita. Cita como es en inglés. Sería date. Appointment. 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 En este caso de cosas legales sería appointment. Una cita. Um, you appointment. Could, uh, you, could you could make, make appointment. An appointment. Double an appointment. P. Sorry? Doble P, appointment. Appointment, okay. Uh -huh. Appointment. Appointment. Uh -huh. Appointment. Bien. Okay, continue working. Okay. I'm going to go yeah. back in a few minutes. Okay, teacher. Um, número cuatro, cinco, seis. I call. I could listen. I could listen. All right, listen. I could listen. I could listen. On my, on Hello. my headphones. So now you stay with me, Eduardo, after the class, okay? Ox, ox, ox. Okay. I could listen. Come here. I could listen. I could listen. A song. No, pero no hay una A o sí. O no lo estoy viendo todo. I. Yes. To office. Ajá, cabal es más general. Uh -huh. En nombre de. Number four. Ah, number four. You feel tired, sick. Ay, primero descansa. You could feel tired, sick. You could go to you. bed. <laughs> In this moment, <laughs> you could you go, go to bed. To bed. Uh, for for to rest para descansar perdón sería you could go to bed to bed for to rest for, for to rest ok ahí no podemos decir for to rest sino que okay. <laughs> Tenemos dos prepositions y dos prepositions mm, no es válido. Ah, Entonces, uh -huh. si usamos ah. eh, to rest, quedaría así en la base form, to rest. Pero si voy a usar el for, el verbo tendría que ir en ing for resting. ing uh, for to uh -huh. resting. No, uh -huh. no, Lourdes. Only to or only for. Then, to to well. To rest. Ah, to rest. o sea, Sin podría ser, podría ser, for to rest. Ah, no, 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 no. Podría ser, for resting, resting, uh -huh. or to rest. To rest, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Pero no Ponga puede ir las dos juntas. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, eso es nuevo para mi teacher. Thank you. You call go to bed. To... Entonces, for quedaría, resting. you You call go to bed to rest. For, ajá, uh -huh. puede ponerle to, to rest o yo le puse for resting. For resting, ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. sin el tú. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. No, igual pueden anotarlo por ahí, ¿verdad, chiquito? A la parte uh -huh. de, de algo. Sí, to rest sí. o for resting. Sí, sí a la parte de la Ajá. Ok. Sí, es como es. Por eso las reglas gramaticales. ¿no? Ah, sí. Sí, creo que eso, ajá, hay que irlo, digamos, como teniéndolo en cuenta desde ya, para sí, si sí. más adelante nos topamos con la misma situación, ya no cometer el mismo error. Sí, sí. es cierto. Eh, number two. Number two. You, you call. Aquí sí, sí. podemos tomar medicina. Yes. Ah, I had a question too. <laughs> Where is Anayansi? Anayansi was working with you. 
No. The, the, no. Yes, I no. No, no electric. 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 Okay. Uh, problem. Electric. Electricity yeah. problem. So please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Electricity problem. When is wrong? So you finish. This activity you finish. No, no, uh, no. number five. Ah, okay. number five. Yes, yes you selected yes. the situation. Number one. Number one, you don't have a card. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe Claudia tells you. For example, hey Dennis, you know, um, I don't have a car and I need a car for going to work. And you, Dennis, you can say, oh, you could buy a car. And she can say, where, where I could know. I buy it? Uh huh. And, and you start the conversation. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Something like that. Short. Uh -huh. Algo corto, no vayan a no, hacer un gran no testamento. Money, no money. <laughs> ah, no, don't have money. No, I have, don't have, don't have money. But you can buy, you can, you can yes. lend her. Usted le puede prestar, Danis. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Aquí, Claudia, pues nos paga. I did, I did, no. I did, no. <laughs> Entonces, I have a question. You okay. don't have a car for, for um, transportation at my work. Um, a car. I have a car. Bye. Hi, Claudia. No, no, have a car. I don't have no. money. I won. What? <laughs> I won. <laughs> Buy a Lamborghini. Or oh. Buy a Lamborghini. Yes. <laughs> the... Yes. Yes. Teacher. Yes. And the uh, and the uh, letter C is could we see you the screen and request uh, no and answer is yes cool no no okay could it's okay could uh, which subject the subject that you have to use is you because the question is one and the answer is another one okay uh -huh. so let's put the question in order. Let's put the question in order. What do could, you, okay, could, could we see no. you? Could, could you? Could you, uh -huh. could could you, you see the screen? The screen. Uh -huh. Could you see it? the screen? And then you uh -huh. say, yes, we, we could. could. You know the difference, right? Because yeah. we in English have two subjects. You have you, that is the second one, and uh -huh. mm. you know, right after you have you, that is plural two. Ustedes yeah. y tú. Okay. El primer you que vemos en, en la línea de los subjects es tú. Pero el que está más abajo es ustedes. Por lo yeah. tanto, el, el otro sujeto a utilizar sería we, nosotros. Yes. We could. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, uh, could okay. you see the screen? Pudieron ver la, la, la pantalla? Yes, yes, we could. Yes, we could. Sí, pudimos. Uh -huh. sí, pudimos. Uh -huh. Thanks, teacher. Okay. De que usted tiene respuesta también. We could. Eh? Sí, ahí, ahí estaba. Por eso tenía la duda. Okay. Y ahí, y ahí me. Little Pensé que era, era see you. Error, my, my. Could you see? Uh -huh. <laughs> um, Is it raining there? Todavía llueve por ahí. Uh, yes. uh, in my case, no. No. Uh, yes, in my no. case, yes. <laughs> in my uh. case, too. It's raining. <laughs> 
Okay, no, letter D. Is he couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't hear the speakers. Hear the speakers. Mm -hmm. hear the speakers. He couldn't hear the speakers. Mm -hmm. And did you finish the other conversation in the in the last exercise? Uh, conversation, no teacher. Uh, <laughs> Not yet. No. Okay, conversation se nos quedó. Okay, don't worry. Continue with this, and after that, you practice a short conversation. Not okay. a long testament. Not a long testament. Only a short conversation. Okay. Sure. Okay. Ahí se nos olvidó la conversación. Sí. Pero... Call. 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 Uh, calling, creo que era calling. Your mechanic. Me, me, mechanic. 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 Ajá. Your mechanic. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Very <laughs> <laughs> ah, sí, yes. Ah. Can I listen to your conversation, guys? Okay, teacher. Um, Cesar, <laughs> you stop. La que hicimos. Sí. Hello, Karina. I have a problem. I will be late to my work. Oh, no. What happened? I don't have a card. Because that is blow. What could I do? Um, you could change the replacement tire. I don't have a high once. Once, once. once. I, don't uh -huh. have. I don't have once. Oh no, you could call your Mechanic, mechanic. Thank. Okay, uh, there is one word that the pronunciation is not the correct one. Había una palabrita por ahí. Quiero ver. Fue en la última línea que dijo César, creo. Blown. Blown. No, once. 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 ¿Qué, ¿Qué quieren decir con ese once? Una de una. No tengo una. No, no tengo una. Ah, entonces sería one. One, no más. Ah, one. Porque ah, once one. es una vez. Es una vez. Ah. Once se escribe ah, once. Sí, como la se serie. Ajá. Ajá. Sí. Once Entonces, upon a time. En ah, Spanish okay. es una vez. Ajá. Eh, ah. Tendría que ser one. 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 Uh -huh. I one. one. Ah, ok. One. Uh -huh. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Thank you, okay, the conversation Thank is teacher. okay. The conversation is okay. Yes. Now you can continue with the next exercise that is putting in order the words. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is the last one, right? Yes, that is yeah. the last one. You have five minutes to finish that. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, quickly. <laughs> ah. Easy, easy. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Caesar. Uh, we we call we call um uh, we call a uh, uh, bus backstage jet no jet bus backstage we call get your your I con el doing your your ID your ID insurance insurance Yes, it's your issue. Okay. Your ID insurance. Could I have your ID insurance? And could you, no, que sería, could you give me? Your ID insurance. Uh, insurance. Could you give me your ID insurance, please? Ah, uh, could you see? Could you see the could screen? You see? 
Could you see the screen? Yes. Could you see the screen? Y el, luego, el we? Yes. Yes, yes, we. Yes, con un we. No. Or we call. Yes, we could. Uh -huh. Yes, we could. Uh -huh. We could. Okay. Okay. He called them. He couldn't. Couldn't. He could, couldn't. Ah, couldn't. A speaker. He couldn't. See here. No. He couldn't. Here. Here. Uh -huh. He couldn't hear. The speaker. Ah, here. The speakers. The, the speaker. Mm -hmm. He couldn't hear the speakers. Uh, yes. They couldn't. They couldn't use use the digital camera. Uh -huh. They couldn't the, use the digital, digital camera. Digital digital camera. Digital camera at the museum. At the museum. 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 Mm -hmm. They okay. couldn't. Okay. They couldn't use their digital camera at the museum. At, at the museum. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. He, she couldn't. See. Mm -hmm. She couldn't see. see. She. She like. She like. She couldn't, she couldn't see. Like. I guess that we have two sentences there. Al parecer tenemos dos oraciones en una. Mm -hmm. Yes. She could. Mm, they can put the comma. But the name was, she couldn't see. See. Okay. Light. No. No. She couldn't see. Where off? Where off? No. Anything. No pudo ver anything. nada. She couldn't see. Ah. Anything. She couldn't see anything. Ahí está el punto y coma. Uh -huh. okay. Y después continúa. The lights. Ahí sí va the lights. The lights. The lights. Where off? Where off? Uh -huh. Where off? Okay. Uh, and okay. Thanks. Okay, so you finished, right? Then yes. Is what time is it? Oops, it's time to okay. share the answers. Seven. Yes. Seven so, minutes. Si ustedes terminaron, significa que ya todos terminando. <laughs> okay. No. We, no. No. Why not? <laughs> no, teacher, because we are intelligent. Can I guess here? We are intelligent. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, todos somos inteligentes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Solo que algunos nos matan más el sueño que otros. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's see. We are going to start then. Vamos a empezar entonces para salir cabal a la hora. Okay.
Okay, guys, so we are coming to an end for tonight's class. After the class, Eduardo is going to stay with me. Okay, so uh, let's see. We are going to we are going to share the answers. All right. We are right. going to share the answers. Let's see number four, the situations. Claudia, can you please tell me the situations that you have for number two? You don't have a car. Um, you don't have a car. Uh, you call buy a car. You call a rent a car. Uh, you call use public transportation. Very good. You, you could lend a car. Okay, very good. Many options. Many <laughs> options. Thank you. Then is number two. Someone of your family is sick. Uh, she she could mm -hmm. take a medicine mm -hmm. or he could apply the vaccine vaccine or vaccine 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 or mother cool go go to a doctor okay thank you very yeah. much Dennis thank okay. you uh, let's see Cesar, number three, you need to request a legal document. Okay. Uh, you call a uh, good and good lawyer. Como uh -huh. contratar un buen abogado. Uh -huh. Lawyer. Lawyer. Okay, very good. Thank you. And now let's see. Sarai, number four, you feel tired or sick? Okay. Number four. Yes. Uh, you feel tired and sick. You call go to bed for resting. Okay. You call take a medicine. Only. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. All right, uh, because of the time, uh, I'm going to choose, uh, let me see. Carmen's group, the conversation, please. Carmen's group, the conversation, please. Okay, teacher. Okay. Our situation is, is uh, we have a minor car accident. Okay. And, okay. Hey, what happened with you? Oh, sorry, my bad. I was distracted with my phone. We could call our insurance company as soon as possible. Okay, but I don't have an insurance. I will call the police right now. Okay, it's fine. Hello. Hello, this is Oscar from Axel Salvador. How can I help you? Yeah, Oscar, this is Eduardo and I need your help. I have a minor accident with my car in front of Multiplaza Mall. Sorry to hear that. Uh, could you give me your ID insurance, please? Of course, it is 13450. Okay, Eduardo, I have you in the system. Uh, you told me that it's a minor accident, so it's okay. If I, I send to you only the insurance agent? Yeah, that would be perfect. Thank you for your help. Okay, waiting. And that's, and that's it. Thank you. Thank you guys, very good job. Excellent. Now, uh, let's see, Karina, help me from A to B, A and B. A and B, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, we could get a path but stage. Okay, thank you. The next one. I call to listen my son on the headphones. Okay, I could listen to. I could listen to. Okay. I could listen to my son. 
-hmm. on the head. Thank you, thank you, Karina. Lourdes, C and D. Um, okay. Could, could you see the screen? Yes, we could. Mm -hmm. In no in letter D. He couldn't hear the speakers. Thank you. Uh, Luis. Literal A, E, and F. E and F. Okay. Literal E, e. and F, yes. They, they couldn't use the digital camera at the museum. Okay. F. And F. I have a, I'm going to do the capital bueno. She couldn't see the lights. We're off anything. Mm, she couldn't, she couldn't see, see. No, she couldn't see anything. Okay. She yes. couldn't see anything. The lights were off. Okay. Okay, thank you very the, much. The color, the color is the couldn't see anything. The lights were off. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. Thank, thank you, teacher. Thank you, Luis. So, uh, guys, we are going to sum up the class. Vamos a resumir la clase de, de, de hoy. What could I do in order to get a promotion at work? Carmen, what, can, uh, what could I do in order to get a promotion at work? You could, you could work. You could do a very good work in your job. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, let's see, Edwin, what could I do in order to improve my spoken English? Sorry, teacher. Uh -huh, number two, what could I do in order to improve my spoken English? ¿Qué puedo hacer para mejorar mi inglés eh, hablado? Yeah, yeah, uh, you could. You could. Uh, watch the videos YouTube. Okay, thank you very much. And Eduardo, what could I do in order not to get infected of COVID-19? You could wear all the time the mask and wash your hands. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much. So guys, we are going to we're going to stop here. I'll see you tomorrow. Remember it's necessary, obligatory, mandatory for you to stay here during these five years. Okay? During these five days, yes. you have to be here. Los cinco días, bueno, mm -hmm. ya solo tres días. Tienen que estar aquí. Okay, no permissions, no permissions available. <laughs> Okay, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good Have night. a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Care, everyone. Good bye, night. classmates. Bye. Eduardo, Mr. Eduardo Hernandez. Yes, Eduardo Hernandez. Yeah. How are you? Fine, amazing. You? I was wondering all this time why you haven't been online. What's going on? Have you been busy with work? Actually, no, I have a lot of things to do, actually. For example? I'm, a, I'm a study these English classes. I'm studying a master's degree online. Uh, the work uh, put all the, the, co the workers in uh, Excel classes, but no like in support, mm -hmm. just like uh, free, free, like YouTube. Mm -hmm. in youtube but the the enterprise has a a known uh, page so you with your id you have to do all to watch all the videos maybe the source is in youtube but you have to watch it on the platform that is on the on the company so they they 
they check all the, the videos. Okay. So that's it, the master degree, the English classes. Also, because of the, the company is like a new company. The, los compraron hace poco. Mm -hmm. So they put on a lot of stress, a lot of new work to do, a lot of work. So they have a lot of programs to be healthy and to, to be healthy physically and with the, the mentally. So after the class, we have also with Sarai, Cesar, uh, oh, Nelson, uh, Nelson, we have uh, feed classes. Uh, so we have a coach that is, uh, we, we have a, a Zoom meeting that is working out. So we have a little exercise, like 45 minutes. So I have a lot of things like, todo se me ha juntado. Okay, so, really busy. Yeah, so I'm trying to, to to do all the stuff that I have to do, but sometimes I need to, okay, I'm gonna rest for this, I'm gonna rest for that, I'm gonna, because it's a lot. Okay, it's so I didn't know that you, Sarai, and, and Nelson work in the same company. Yeah, and Cesar. Ah, and Cesar too. Yeah. Oh, wow, the world is really small then. Yeah, we 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 start the uh, module one with mm -hmm. guess, yeah together, and this is the fifth, so we're going good. You but it's a together. long, but it's a long way. Yeah, the first teacher told me that I I I could try to to talk with Elisa, I think is your boss. I don't know. Yes. Uh, to have a exam, so I can be not in this module. So I have maybe. Promoted, like yeah, promote like promote it yes you know but yeah, I, I was, was like uh -huh. yeah, it's okay with me i i used to learn to speak english at the call center but long long time ago no but your your english is ago. your english is good yes and but, i was about to ask you that you know yeah I, I used to work in a call center so in that place i 24 7 24 7 was a uh, all a uh, full English uh, call center. Yeah, no, no. My question was, uh, why are you here in the basic module? Ah, no. The, the, when human resources uh, uh, send the email about these courses about Insafor, Inglés Corporativo, they ask us all the company, all the the ones who wants to participate, which module or which level of English we have. So I put like a uh, seventy percent. Yeah, so, okay. But when the first email with uh, from Inglés Corporativo arrived to my inbox, says module one, uh, basic level, something like that. So I was like, nah, nah, I don't want to, to, so to, ask, to ask human resources why, to have an, ex, uh, an exam with Elisa, with your boss. Nah, so I was like, nah, I'm gonna start with this, I'm gonna remember. I'm gonna learn some things that I maybe I forgot and I learn a lot. Yeah. Because I learned English that I told you oof, many, many years ago. So I don't remember all the the correct grammar of English. Okay. Todas las conjugaciones, all of that I don't I don't remember. Ah. O sea, right. I, okay. I can use it. I can use it. Maybe I use it when I speak. Or maybe uh -huh. I, when I read it, but you told me that's the presente tal. No. Ah, you, you don't know the names. You know, I don't know the names. I don't know how to recognize it. So, so I was like, I'm going to learn that. I do not remember. For example, the, the, the perfect, the present perfect that we uh -huh. studied the last week. So I, I want to remember that it's an action that started the past and I, I continue in the present. Mm -hmm. Something, some tips like that I have to learn. So I don't re I don't forget about the uh -huh. language. So that's why I stay in the in the basic level. Okay, yeah, but it's good for you to remember those little things, you know. Yeah, because I don't use it. I don't use it on my work. I'm a financial analyst. I used to work in, in Agricola. Uh -huh. So I don't deal I don't deal with English. I deal with numbers. <laughs> okay, but in Spanish, right? Yeah, in Spanish. 
ah, Spanish. Okay. Nothing because I, I, I was I was looking at some advertisements there and some call centers are requesting for people that are analysts. Mm -hmm. But in English, right? So right. you have the level, you have the experience, you can apply. And also you have the call center experience the too. Call center. And that's why I, I, I say bye bye to the call center. It's hard. I don't I don't like really? it. I used to work there. Yeah, I used to work there because I start with uh, like a part, like a, no, they have a name for us, like a seasonal agent, because the the account was, the name was I say was because there is no more in the in the Salvador, one eight hundred flowers, so the the account the main was selling flowers. There in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So like flowers, chocolates, uh, balloons, all the, the stuff. But I work just Valentine's, Mother's Day, or Christmas, like two weeks. Oh, okay. And the payment was good or was bad? If you ha if you work a lot, yeah, because you you only have two weeks. Uh -huh. And you say you're gonna stay for twenty four hours? Okay, it's your option. Twenty four hours, <laughs> it's great. Uh -huh. But uh, some is not uh, a schedule for for everybody to work twenty four hours. Okay. Or Eleven, twelve is hard. It's hard. Uh -huh. And what is the master degree that you are studying? The name in Spanish I don't know how to say in English is Dirección Financiera. Uh, financials. Financial okay. management, something like uh -huh. that. But it's uh, online, so. Uh -huh. So I, I have to read the material because they, they put it on the platform. So I have to read it. So I have to read it, complete the, all the quizzes, all the, to watch all the, for example, all the classes that maybe I miss because of work. And I have to, um, to, to be on, to, to terminate. Mm -hmm. And the <laughs> flexibility of the schedules is good or not? It's good because the day, they don't have an, a straight time that you have classes all night at seven, for example. No, they give you the material. You have to read, you have to read. And for tomorrow is the first quiz. Oh. Okay. So you have to read, you have to make your own time and do it there. All okay. the, the homeworks or everything that they demand to that uh, level, for example. But you have webinars or, or videos explaining about the topic. Actually, it's very hard because some, sometimes they put the material after the, the webinar. Uh -huh. Sorry, before, before the, the, the webinar. So you have to read and later you have the maybe a little class or maybe an explanation for somebody of the platform but it's like two hours, just two hours, just two hours. And at the end of the webinar, you have to ask a lot of the reading material so you can have clear, a good exam and not have trouble with that. Okay. So, well, 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 <laughs> yes, it's a little bit difficult, interesting and stressful because you barely have time free, you know, time for free. So you need to rest. And it's yeah. healthy. It's healthy food. And that's why I I I I get into the the fit classes uh, yeah. because I need you have to to put your mind away from all the the English, all the Excel, all of the master degree. You have to put it away, and uh -huh. that's why I I I I ha I had these these classes, but it's all together. <laughs> Okay, oh, but the, the good thing is that we are going to finish this coming Friday, so don't worry. Pero después viene otro curso. Si esto sigue, si esto sigue, si esto sigue. Yes, you, but, but at least you will have one week off. Va a descansar una semana. Sí, de las, de las clases de inglés, sí, del Excel voy a aprovechar para, para sacarlo antes de, de que termine. Date de que empiece la semana, mejor dicho, de trabajo. Y, y me queda la, la maestría, que ahorita está en lo último. Okay, so I yeah. wish you the best. I wish you the best. Thanks, thanks a lot. Okay, Eduardo, good to talk to you. Good to know a little bit more about you. And okay. I'm going to catch you tomorrow. I hope that you can make it. 
Yeah, I'm gonna try to make it. Don't worry. Okay, so have a good night and rest. You too. Have a great night, teacher. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye.